Let's give that another go. For a couple of reasons. One, because I really want to unlock that final thing. That final thing. Alright, what do we get? Obtain a rare card, lose all gold. Sure. None of these are great. I'll take tools of the trade. Um, this just kind of sucks too. I guess there's a pretty good mystery machine once we get up here. Okay. Yeah, Tools of the Trade is a bit of a bad start. It's good occasionally. It's better once we actually have the energy management for it. We'll see. I think we'll be fine. Does this game have an endless mode? If it did, I'd be playing it. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I hope they add it soon. Because endless mode would be amazing. Like it would, it would really make a good run happen. I don't know. Okay, well let's just kill him. Yeah, I like the idea of tools of the trade, but not on this. Not on this. Wraith form is. Oh. Whenever you play a skill, deal three damage to a random enemy. Um. I like the idea of it, but it's probably better that I go dodge and roll or sucker punch. Honestly, it's costly but interesting. The main problem is... Yeah, the upgrade does five damage. Wraithform Venomancer. You know, let's do it. Let's see if I can roll a Venomancer build. The main problem is I effectively have garbage now in my hand. Because I can't use it. I want to use it. But I can't I can't fit it into my hand. Or my deck? I guess it, I guess it actually would have been fine for this one. Yeah, Wraithform's upgraded choke. It's Venomancer choke. That's what it is. I'll go with it. I mean we'll see what happens. I guess I could have done tools of the trade there, but eh, not really. I don't know. Okay. Thank you, neutralize. If I if I can get it, uh, if we can get to the point of actually uh, upgrading uh, neutralize, that might not be a bad idea either. You can play it on the first turn and use as a block bonus. No, you're correct about that. I I should have done it on the first turn. The main problem is it's just expensive. Okay. Get rid of get rid of that. Gets a little weird sometimes. Okay, cloak and dagger is pretty good. Dagger spray is probably more useful. Immediately. I like. Hmm. Nope. We're going cloak and dagger. Do I keep going? We'll fight a mid-boss. Oh. Or not. No mid-boss. I don't have any money, so let's just keep going up. And it's this guy. Let's do a survivor. To defend. Strike and strike. Yeah. No, now that I think about it, Wraith Form is good. I use a lot of skills, especially as this character. The main point is... It's just pricey early on. Tools of the Trade works well with this relic. Yeah, you're right.
Yeah, I'm just hoping we can get, uh... I, I'm just hoping I can get, uh... What is it? The Mark of Pain? Yeah, energy relics would help. Ah. Uh... Is it just me, or did this guy escape way faster than usual? Well, whatever, I don't have any gold. I did have some. I think, think he took like 60 of it. Okay, so we don't have anything even affordable here. Well, there's Gearya. Okay. Let's smith Wraith Form up. I feel like smithing up Wraith Form or Tools of the Trade is probably best. Let's smith Wraith Form. This way, it's absolutely worth using at all times. Okay, now Shop is useless. Let's go mid-boss. Okay. Let's do tools of the trade. Defend. Survivor. I'm going to take this one slow. I believe Wraith Form will help me here. I'm probably going to take some damage. Alright, let's lose Strike. I mean, pretty much, I'm just going to neutralize this guy. And then use Wraith Form. And then take a lot of damage. Ugh. Yeah, the wound sucks. But for all the skills and the blocks and whatnot I do, this will help. Okay, so let's just get rid of... I guess one of the defense? Cloak and Dagger. Gets me a shiv. Hits a guy at random. Block again. Unfortunately, uh, the one problem with this is I don't attack anybody specifically. I have no deck, only wounds. Yeah, that is, that is one of the worries. I'm pretty much going to have to focus fire one of these sentries. Probably should have done that from the get-go. Alright, let's discard the wound. Luckily, we got a couple of things to manage my hand. Cut his damage down. Strike. Strike. Defend. Hits the middle guy. This'll be okay. But we might want to... We might want to forego this mystery in favor of a second bonfire. Yeah, that would be smart. These guys aren't going to kill me, but they are going to hurt. So let's do Dagger Spray, because that's awesome. Defend. And I don't have enough energy. Okay. Let's get rid of Wound, obviously. Dagger Spray again. Cloak and Dagger again. Shiv him. Strike him. And... I in the end, this isn't so bad. Keep getting rid of the wounds, the strikes, and we'll just defend twice. Okay. Yeah, that worked out. We get anchor, which is nice. Corpse explosion is neat. But let's go deflect. Okay. So... I think I'm actually going to go with a Risky Stupid. I like Risky Stupid. I like the Poison Potion, but it's not as good as the Explosive Poison... Uh, Explosive Potion so early on. Huh. Oh, thanks for the resub, Endergrim. Well, as long as I don't go for a Shiv build, it'll only get me a little bit.
Okay. So we've done that. Let's make tools of the trade free. Okay, tools of the trade. Ooh, ow. These guys are gonna... Eh, they're only gonna hit me for 17. Um... Jeez. Wander, you didn't heal. I didn't... I... I don't know if I needed to. Neutralize him down. That's 14. I like to use Wraith Form here, but I'm going to take the damage if I do, and I kind of want to avoid that. Let's just play a little safe. And by a little safe, I mean roll the, roll the die. Let's see what we get. We get a second Tools of the Trade. That's interdasting. Second Tools of the Trade. Manage that hand. It's really the question of, do I run into another mid-boss? I don't know. Okay, so we don't need a whole lot of defense here. Uh, actually, we barely need any. So let's get rid of both defends. Alright. We do this. We end up with a whole hell of a lot of block. Go for the louse. Snag the jaw worm. We're good. Yeah, I forgot about anchor and I forgot about tough bandages. They're a fun combo. I like them. Alright. Uh, let's see. So, he's going to hit me for 14. I'd like to use Wraith Form, but let's drop Wraith Form. Let's drop one of the defense. That gets me 6 shields. 10 shields. Enough shields. And then we'll just hit him the rest of the way. Yeah, Mar Mark of Pain would save save my ass. Or at least make it, uh, life a lot easier. So, let's just drop both defense. Because I can do Cloak and Dagger. Hit him with a shiv. Shiv gets us riddled with holes. Doesn't kill him. Gets him damn close, though. Oh, right. I gotta just get rid of two defense. Yeah, so as long as I don't get more shiv cards, we can constantly kind of cycle in some interesting stuff. None of these are good. Masterful Stab, actually, would have been really good on the last run. The, well, no. Dagger Throw. Let's get Dagger Throw. And skip the Poison Potion. Shining Idol. Lose max health. Mm, mid Enemy in the mid-boss or mid-boss in the en enemy? Let's go enemy and then mid-boss, or enemy and then something. We don't even know what we're up against. Okay, so this is good. So we can do Wraith Form and Tools of the Trade on the first round. Would have loved to do the Dagger uh, Spray, but still. But yeah, Dagger Throw is great with the bandages. I wasn't thinking about it immediately, but effectively it's going to be 9 damage plus a draw, plus 3 shields, plus I can get rid of a card. Okay. Ooh, high. Uh, let's get rid of Strike, and let's get rid of Strike. Like to use it here, not going to be able to. Oh, interesting. Well, I can just kill this guy outright. That's helpful. Neutralize this guy, which makes him curl up, and defense plenty, which hits him. Hell yeah! Let's hope I can turn this into a Blood Idol soon. Maybe? I actually really like the, uh, the bonus... Uh, the bonus money, but yeah, a discard build could be kind of interesting with this. Um, let's lose one of the strikes. Kill him. Curl him. And then I'll just defend. Ah, shit. I thought he died, but we were weakened. Uh, well, screw it. Yeah, Caltrops would be good. Are you mistaking Caltrops for Juggernaut? Because if I remember right, Caltrops is just whenever you get attacked. I 
a mm, we'll find out. Okay. Let's transform a card in my deck. Or I could upgrade one. What would I upgrade if I could upgrade? Nothing. Let's transform one of the random strikes into... Bam! Dash. I'll take it. So dash gets a little bit better, but not much. Extra damage. Cloak and dagger adds two shivs, which gets weird and scary. Dagger spray could be kind of good. Hmm... I like Neutralize. Yeah, Juggernaut would be amazing with this run. Yeah, Jug Juggernaut would make this deck ridiculous. But we don't have Juggernaut. And we can't get Juggernaut. I could rest. We are about to fight a boss. Two shivs is still okay. Let's rest. I'm not stupid. The upgrades are nice, but not necessary. Let's heal. Yep, that was a good plan. Alright, tools of the trade. Neutralize. Dex potion. Strike. Strike. I don't know. Kind of whatever there. Uh, let's see. What do we lose? Let's use the lose the strike. Okay. I'm probably gonna want some energy for this one. So let's hit him with dagger spray. Dagger throw. I'll lose a defend. Dagger throw. I'll lose the strike. He's not gonna hit me, so I guess these kind of become pointless. So we still don't have a single poison card, but I do have Wraith Form. That'll be interesting. Okay, uh, let's just lose a def defense. If we hit him with Neutralize, we lose our shield, but it cuts his damage. And I get Wraith Form out. I'll take a hit here, but that's not the end of the world. I had a run in which the Whale gave you the Shovel for your first relic. That's dumb. That's bullshit. Oh, the nice nice part is I can just defend like crazy here, and Wraith Form will just wail on him. Yes. Unfortunately, he's gone back into this mode, which I do dislike. Okay. So, deflect, because it's free. Dagger throw. Shall get rid of the strike. Next dagger throw. I'll get rid of the dagger spray. Deflect and defend. We take no damage. He takes tons. Yes! Hey, Wander, how are you doing today? I've been feeling like garbage this whole week. The, um... The temperature has been going up and down a lot, and it's, like, really messing with my head. Which has not been good for me. Uh, so specifically today, Catalyst? Reflex. Oh, that's actually kind of helpful. Uh, so today we went out shopping, and I more or less zombie moded around. Uh, I more or less zombie moded around Walmart, uh, buying groceries. And according to Shell, I bought everything wrong. <laughs> Which, uh, well, all right. So if I do dagger throw, I can get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of dash. I'm going to keep chaining the dagger throws into into themselves. And Survivor. And there we go. Okay. But yeah, I was just kind of going around. I got the wrong kind of French on, uh, French fried onions. Uh, let's see. Deflect. Defend. Defend. Cloak and dagger. This almost feels like a build where I should get, like, footwork up the wazoo. 
But yeah, as, as far as how I'm feeling about uh, Slay the Spire tonight, I'm having a hell of a lot easier of a time. I was getting... I was getting, um, bumped. Yesterday. Venomology is kind of pointless here. We could do Cloak and Dagger, which gets me Shiv, which gets me Bullet Time, which is ill-timed, but whatever. Yeah, if I can get... Oh, jeez. If I could get just, like, a bunch of footwork, I could just cycle discards. Maybe? I don't know. It'd probably still not be a very good strategy. It doesn't scale well. Unfortunately, I kind of feel like this game needs some uh, permanent strength bonuses occasionally. Okay, uh, let's get rid of strike. Deflect, defend, defend, defend. And we've already put him into defense mode. Hell yeah! That's good shit. Alright, let's just get rid of the regular... That... Bullet time. Sadly... Means that we can't actually, uh... Proc the dagger throws, but that's okay. But yeah, bullet time is amazing. Amazing stuff. Ooh. Tactician is good. Adrenaline is scary. I like the idea of tactician, because it fits really well... With... Yeah, let's go Tactician, seeing as I've got Tools of the Trade. So Ectoplasm gives me the extra energy that I desire. Bell is Chaos, and if I was going Poison, I go Specimen, but I'm not actually sure if I am. Main problem is, Bell gives me three curses. But at the same time, yeah, let's go with it. Let's gamble. This run's not amazing yet anyway. Okay, so Parasite, actually all of these are not so bad. Hi! <laughs> okay. Hmm. I mean, it seems like my best option is to go up the right here, get to this bonfire, and then figure out what the hell I want to do. Because we could do mid-boss bonfire, regular enemy bonfire, but that's boring. Or mid-boss... No, we'd have to do the... Main thing is this is multiple mid-bosses in a very... Yeah, I want shops to remove at least one of the curses. Yeah. Main problem is, here's a shop. We lose out on three parts of mission, uh, two parts of mystery machine. To do it. Do we have another shop anywhere up here? We have one over here. Eee. Yeah. I don't have anything that buffs my luck. That's my one problem. Yeah, you're right. Mystery Machine might get a shop anyway. Yeah, let's go Mystery Machine. The curses are not terrible. Especially with my hand management. 
If this were a different run, I'd be more worried about it, but I'm not. So let's dash into him. And just strike. I guess I'll just defend. It doesn't really do anything right now. But yes, my main goal is go for camps, which is get here and then figure out uh, how bonered I am. The main problem is I was thinking I would do a Venomancy deck on this one. Haven't really gotten there. So he's going to hit me for 12. I'd like to use Wraith Form Plus. <clears throat> but that would mean taking damage here. It's not something I'm keen on. So let's just lose one of the defense. Yeah. Let's skip out on it, at least for this one. I'm trying to mitigate damage as best as possible. Let's do Dagger Throw. Gets me a deflect. I Okay, well, that's fine. I do have to pay attention to tough bandages. You're only nine. But here's the thing. Nine damage, I can just fight this guy very, very slowly. I don't have to fight him fast. I can fight him as slow as I want. Yeah, it should just be a discard deck. It'd be interesting. The only problem is it doesn't scale up as well as I'd like it to. Though there are merits. Well, let's lose the discard. Okay. Uh, I might as well dash him. Main goal right now is just to pummel through his uh, plated armor and take no damage. Okay, so let's get rid of the Writhe. Oh, I should have gotten rid of Tactician, honestly. Though it really wouldn't have done much good good to me. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, the, di the, the idea of the discard deck would work, though. We'll, we'll see. Main thing is, I'm going to let uh, Campfires kind of determine this one. Okay, so this is, this is going to be tricky. So we're going to do Wraith Form. And then Calculated Gamble. Which gets me a whole hell of a lot of uh, defense there. There we go. Yeah, I don't actually heal from discarding, unfortunately. Oh, let's go Tactician? I don't know, any of these. Unfortunately, we're going to take damage here, probably. Yeah, we're going to take nine. Oh, but it stunned him somehow. How? Oh, it's because we took off all of his armor. I was not aware of that. Okay. More dagger throws or that. Let's go, let's go acrobatics. Remember you heal. No, no, tough bandages just give me, gives me block. I do not heal. I cannot heal. If I healed every time I discarded, I'd be ridiculously strong, but I have no actual healing in this deck. All right, let's lose Tactician. Huh. So we're going to get dazed. This is going to fluff out my deck a ton. Okay. You're not using Shuriken's potential. You're right. I don't have much of a means of doing so. Not right now. Ooh, underhanded strike. There we go. 
Yeah, the shuriken is just kind of rolling in the background. I don't have much of a use for it. I'd like to use... Uh, I'd like to use it. I'm just not sure how I would use it. Cause I could go with a, I could go with a shiv deck, but that would be really, really scary. Whereas being like a, a really strong deck control. Oh well, the shit. All right, that works even better than a shop. Trishka, whenever you discard a card during your turn, deal three damage to a random enemy for each card discarded. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Um, that's awesome. Let's do prepared. I'll get rid of one of the defense, so that'll hurt them. Okay, deflect. Acrobatics. Dash could be good. I've got 17 block right now, so let's lose the strike. Dagger spray. And dash. Yeah, discard build is a go. I will have to keep checking as we go along, but like... I like the idea of this. Let's just get rid of the strike. Do I use Wraith Form and the block potion? Yeah, we'll drink the block potion. Normally not going to use it that much. We really, really need to get just something basic defense-wise-ish. They're pretty much back up to full health, but that's okay. Alright, so let's lose Tactician for obvious reasons. Dagger throw. Lose the strike. Neutralize. Dagger throw. Lose the defend. Survivor. Lose the defend. Okay. This is a really weird slog. Okay, uh, let's see. So neither of them are going to be hitting me, so let's use the defend. Dagger spray. Acrobatics. Which, I'll lose the other defend. Cloak and dagger. Shiv. Deflect. And prepared. Just lets me get rid of the crippling poison for three damage to one of them. This is interesting. Cause she, ah, she's gonna heal them both. That's okay. We're we're cutting them down slow. So let's get let's get rid of. I love tactician as such a satisfying card. Okay, deflect only gives me three. Dagger throw to her. Let's get. Let's me get rid of strike. Striker again gets me the strength bonus, and I don't take damage, and she's almost dead. Yeah, this is really slow. That's the one problem with the discard build. Uh, let's see. Let's just you lose a defense. Strike. Strike. Yep. Now let's just hope for a second tools of the trade. Yeah. Stacking tools of the trade would be absurd. Uh, calculated gamble would be insane. Especially if I could get it upgraded. Let's get rid of the crippling poison. Dagger throw her. Alright, she's dead. Uh, let's just lose the... Dash? Dash. Cloak and dagger. Shiv him. We get a reflex. Which is kind of pointless here. Okay. What does the Lamp Relic do? Every time I discard a card, they take three damage. I really wish stuff like Tingsha was affected by strength. Alright, let's discard Reflex, which gets me that. Use this. Gets me that. Dagger throw. Let's see, I might be able to kill him. Yes. I'm going to be able to kill him on this round. 
Or do you mean the lantern? The lantern is the uh, is energy extra energy on the first bit of combat. Okay, fly knee extra energy dodge and roll block, not that necessary. Backstab triggers the dead branch and does a lot of damage. Oh, wait, these are symbols? Oh, they are. This looks like a dilapidated old shitty lamp thing. This is the actual lantern. Okay. I was wondering I was wondering about that. But no, it's it's little symbols. That's that's why it makes that noise every single time. Knee for shuriken. Knee for shuriken. Okay. Well, I'm full health, so I'm feeling pretty good about things. And we get Centennial Puzzle. I'll take it. So. I'm going to go with a really, really bad idea. This, this deck is holding out really well for bizarre reasons. Tools of the Trade. Dagger throw to the guy in the middle. Let's get rid of Tactician for the extra energy. Thank you. If I do a dagger spray, kills the guy in the middle, but I can kill him for a prepared. And I haven't lost damage yet. Let's do a strike. Prepared. Loses me defend. Acrobatics gives me whatever. It doesn't, nothing helps here. Yeah, so Centennial Puzzles, whenever you take uh, damage the first time in combat, draw a card. It's interesting. Okay, let's lose the strike. So let's start with Neutralize. Deflect, Defend, Flying Knee, and Survivor. Yeah, I would like to trigger Shuriken a little bit more often, somehow. Not sure how. Okay, uh, let's just lose one of the strikes. Let's use Wraith Form. Dagger Throw. Drop another strike. Hit him with a Neutralize. And just Deflect, which helps. There we go. Yeah, the three card, the three card draw is kind of helpful. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, ow, we're going to take some damage here. Let's lose the strike. Well, we might not take damage here. Okay, so I'm going to shiv this guy. Which gives me a Venomology, which is kind of useless. I'm going to take 27. Well, I'm going to... Dagger throw this guy. And let's just lose the Venomology. I'm not going to have enough energy for this. And there he goes. Alright, and we'll just do Survivor. Lose Acrobatics. Hits him for 5, 8. And we're going to take a little bit of damage, but this isn't so bad. Okay. So for starters, let's lose Tactician. Then... Dagger Spray. Let me see. Then Prepared. We'll lose a Defend. Kills him. Dagger Throw. Lose another Defend. Flying Knee. Gets me some energy. Neutralize and then Strike. Okay. It's going well. That's... <sighs> Rolling Shuriken is hard here. Right, let's lose that. Oh, this is going to hurt. Okay, I'm going to throw the weakness potion at him. Cut his damage down a bunch. Oh, jeez. Okay. Cloak and dagger. The little guys, I pretty much just have to... Oh. Acrobatics. Let's lose dash. I'd like to keep it, but we want to do Burst, 
survivor. Which gets me a double survivor, which means I can get rid of the strikes. And this means I don't take any damage from this. And there we go. This is a uh, slow pain, but we're good. This is all we need is the uh, the heal on on power usage thing, and we'll be insanely good. All right, I'll just lose a regular strike. Prepared, lose another regular strike. Hit him with dagger throw, and we win. There we go. Let's see. Letter opener. Yes, that works really well with this build. Escape plan. Or escape plan, flying knee, or reflex plus. I like reflex plus. Because it draws me two cards. Because that's two cards, more or less, just expanding my hand for that round. Escape plan gets me one card, but potentially, uh, potentially block. Let's go reflex. It's a good starter. Okay, I'm not too wounded. So let's dig up another relic. We get or ornamental fans. It's okay. Bronze scales, yes. Fuck. Hate these guys. All right, tools of the trade. Dagger spray. Dagger throw. Who's the most injured of them all? You are. Neutralize. Strike. So every three attacks, I gain four block. Would work well if we were doing a shiv run. But we really seem to be in this kind of, like, weird hand management run. I really wish I had Blur as part of this. Right, let's drop Reflex. In favor of some stuff. So I like Dagger Throw. I like Acrobatics. Dash is neat, but it's too big. Dagger throw. Tactician. That works out. Dash. Cloak and dagger. Gets me a shiv, which kills this cultist dead. Which gets me cult calculated gamble. Which more or less set these guys on sets these guys on fire. Alright. <laughs> All right, this is uh, this is good. This is good run. It's a weird run. We're mostly relying on proc relics for very small damage, which is fascinating. Now I'd like to use I'd like to use wraith form here, but I don't think we're gonna get the opportunity. It's too expensive for what I'm doing. Get Cloak and Dagger rolling. Shiv that guy. Gets us a bullet time, which is helpful. Uh, let's see. Gets us Reflex. Which lets me do... Dagger Throw into Tactician. Which lets me do Acrobatics into any number of things, honestly. Doesn't really matter here. But there we go. Uh, let's just lose the defend. I'm just gonna let cal Calculated Gamble kill him. Okay. Uh, Outmaneuver is really good. Let's get Outmaneuver Plus. The backpack is nice for cycling dumb shit everywhere. Do Voodal. For each curse in your deck, start combat with one additional strength. I have no curses. Eh. Ooh, these guys are a problem. I have bad memories of these guys. Tools of the trade. Wraith form. Neutralize. 
prepared. Let's lose dash. Now I can do Survivor or Cloak and Dagger. Let's do... They're only going to do 17 to me. So let's do Cloak and Dagger, which gives me Shiv, which gets me another Cloak and Dagger for later. Okay. Yeah, a little too late for Duvu, Duvu doll, but I might still get it anyway. I've got a Weakness Potion. I've also got a Block Potion. So let's blow Tactician. Because I can get Reflex in a second, but we need the extra energy now. Alright, uh, let me think about this. Let's do Dagger Throw. Reflex. Dagger Spray is good. Acrobatics. Lose me a Strike. In favor of a Deflect. Dagger Spray doesn't do too much. I could defend, or let's block potion, let's throw the weakness potion, and outmaneuver. I'm still going to take damage from here. I was really hoping that would kill that guy. This is going to hurt. But we killed the first one. These guys often kill me. But now I've got a shit ton of energy and a lot of deck management to keep this going. Right, let's just lose one of the strikes. Alright, so flying knee, dagger throw, lose reflex. Let's keep the outmaneuver going because it's awesome. Cloak and dagger, which kills that guy, it lets me shiv this one. Acrobatics, which lets me go tactician. Which lets me do Dagger Throw, The Wound, Fletchets, and kill him. There we go. Yeah, I... Ooh, ooh. That's... Fascinating scary. Backstab is also interesting scary. I don't know if I like any of these. I kind of want to skip them. Yeah, let's skip them. We do not need... We do not need... Ex uh... Some of these things. Okay, yeah. So we get a free th free strength point at the beginning of combat. And we also get three free random cards that get added, which gets really weird. Yeah, if I had... Fleshy... I'd be able to do interesting stuff here. Let's do distraction. Gets me a free bouncing flask. Alright. I've got three more attacks, maybe. So I could get another point in strength if I wanted to. Let's see. Corpse explosion seems a bit premature. I'd be able to hit him for an amount, but no. Let's go... Cloak and Dagger. Shiv. Dagger Spray. Flying Knee. Deflect. And then Skewer, which doesn't really do anything, but whatever. Okay, strong first rounds. We're probably going to have a lot of strong first rounds. Corpse Explosion doubles my damage. Oh, uh, not doubles the damage. It pops the poison. And doubles it. So let's lose the ultra high, ultra expensive that. Wraith form, hello. Uh, let's see. So he's barely going to do damage to me. So let's do the cheapo dagger throw. The more expensive dagger throw. So lets me use prepared. Get rid of this in favor of a flying knee I can't use, but that's fine. He's almost dead already. Yeah, Corpse Explosion is pretty useless in this deck. If I had gotten Venomancer like I had originally intended to, uh, it wouldn't have been so bad. But, well, I didn't really get the opportunity to do so.